Bubble is a program we've been developing for middle school students uh, that helps them to connect with their learning in the classroom with the real world experience. So they've been able to work in the classroom in their science class with a multi-user virtual environment where they explore a virtual pond and they act like scientists to collect information about an ecological mystery that's happened in the, at the virtual pond. But then now we've developed EcoMobile to allow the students to take some of the pieces that they're learning about in the classroom and learn more about them in the real world. So we've developed an augmented reality game that the students can play on smartphones using a 3G wireless network at a real pond. So as the students move around the real environment, they um, encounter hotspots. And at the hotspots, there is information that connects with what they were learning in the classroom. Things like what's a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer, or uh, allows them to take measurements of the pond um, to test its water quality. So the students uh, have been coming out with us to the pond environment and going on field trips and using augmented reality to connect their experiences with the classroom. I want to know what, what is the most common type of organism you observe? Um, Honestly, we've observed a lot of producers. People producers because I see a lot of green and, and all of these plants and trees are producers. They are produced, so. Yeah. The kids have been very excited to use the smartphone devices and it's amazing to see how quickly they can pick it up and use it to its full capacity. Um, it took a very short introduction for the kids to be able to navigate with the device and to access these hotspots and they were figuring things out and troubleshooting together. They were, it was really fun to see them work together to solve some of the problems that they were encountering and, and you know one student might not quite understand how uh, something worked and another student was right there to help them uh, figure it out. Some of the, the programs they're using and the probes that they're using are very similar to what real scientists use to monitor ecosystems. And so they're getting experiences that rival what, what real scientists do. And they, they realize that. And they see um, things about the water quality and start to understand what this means for, um, you know, we've had a lot of rain in the last few days. They're connecting the fact that the rain might affect what's happening in the pond and what's happening in their local environment. So they're starting to understand that, that the things that happen in the world are affecting things very close to their homes. The higher, the more cloudy. The more cloudy and the, the lower, the less cloudy. The less cloudy. I, I think it would be zero to 20. Yeah, yeah. I agree. agree. Yeah. Yes. All right. That was a good prediction. Okay. Now let's see if you were right. Okay. Right. okay. Could you get the bucket? Yeah. You got it? And the line. Wait, what was our decomposition? Yeah, Oh, we're gonna need the cap on that. <laughs> Did you fill it out? Yeah, yeah, it's filled up to the. Make sure is it lined up. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, now we've got to turn this on and test the it's, meter. So it's channel two, so it's the brown one. Okay. So mine is It's going up. So if we didn't have these phones, the students wouldn't have a good way to access some of the additional information that connects with the classroom. Um, their experiences in the real world when we've gone on field trips with them before have been these one snapshot kind of activities that when they go back to the classroom, it's really hard to remember what they did or, or why it mattered. But now that we have the phones to connect their experiences in the classroom with the real world, we can take the phones back to the classroom and use them to help the students connect with their learning in both places. This is awesome. Yeah. We, get to, we get to like learn about like the dissolved oxygen in this case and we're answering the questions that, and we can test the water in the, and yeah, it's awesome. It's much better than using a textbook because it's, you're in, you're in it. You can, you can see everything instead of just reading. And yeah. the questions are related to what you can physically do instead of just what you know from your knowledge, so. When I describe to people what we're doing in the classroom, I people think it's so cool. There's a lot of enthusiasm for exploring how these, these technologies could really benefit students' learning.